as part of clinical trial programming series today we will see how to derive a baseline flag in HTTM VS dataset when VS position is collected in the data so the sample code that creates the input data for this exercise and the link for the complete code for this exercise can be found in the description of this video so if you see take a look at the left side of the screen so this is the final output that we are going to derive in this exercise and we will now take a look at the notes provided to us to begin with the exercise so it says baseline is defined as the last known assessment on or prior to reference start date and we have a second note which says vital signs are collected in sitting and supine position so on each date the vital signs are collected in two different position one is sitting and the second one is supine and it is also mentioning that we will have a separate baseline for each test and position now let us take a quick look at the input data set that we are being given so if you see on each date there are two records one with sitting position and the second one with supine position similarly on 11th jan if you take a look at here so we have two records one in sitting position and the second one in supine position let us now try to manually identify the baseline record based on our understanding on the definition given for the baseline for each of these positions so for the convenience of quickly identifying things i have sorted the data by subject test and position within each state so that it would be easy for us to identify the baseline for each position so that all the sitting position records are pulled together and supine position records are pulled together let us try to quickly mark these things with a color so that we will be able to differentiate these two okay now let us examine one record at a time and see whether each record qualifies for baseline flagging or not so the first requirement is that we should have non-missing result and the second requirement is that the collection should be on or prior to the reference start date on this record the result is not missing and the collection is prior to the reference start date the 10th gen versus 15th gen so this record is eligible for considering it for baseline and the second record if we see non missing result followed by the 11th gen versus 15th gen so this record is also prior to the reference start date so this record is eligible the third record if we see the date is prior to the reference start date but result is missing so this record is ineligible and then the fourth record in sitting position if we see this is collected on the same date as a reference start date so as per the definition it can be on or before so this is on the day of reference start date and a non-missing result so this qualifies for our baseline determination and then if we have take a look at the next two records 16th and 18th so these are clearly after the reference start date so these are not eligible for considering for the derivation of baseline and the sitting position similarly let us mark what the records which are eligible for baseline consideration so this record has a non-missing result and record collection prior to the reference start date similarly so this is also eligible so this is also eligible so if we take a look at on 15th jan we have a missing result so this is not eligible and then the following two records are like 16th and 18th so these are after reference start date so these are not eligible now we need to identify the latest record within each position for subject and test so for the first uh, position of sitting so we have three records 10th 14th and 15th which are eligible so the latest of these three is 15th so this record becomes baseline for sitting position and 
let us take a look at the eligible records for supine position so the records are 10th 11th and 14th so the latest of these three is 14th so for sitting a supine position 14th chan record is becoming baseline so this is how we manually identify the baseline so let us now take a look at the implementation or derivation of this programmatically so as always there are three main steps in deriving the baseline the first one is to subset the records that qualify for baseline and the second one is to identify the latest of those records and the third step is to populate the baseline flag in the parent data set using the latest record key variable values so the first step is to read and process input data set so in the example data provided we do have the reference start date provided as part of the input data itself so we are not we do not need any pre-processing if reference start date is not provided then we need to fetch it from demographic status it with using a merge step and the next step is to subset the records that qualify for baseline so there are two important criteria for uh, to meet uh, whether a record qualifies for baseline or not the first requirement is non-missing result and the second one is the record should be on or prior to the reference start date for the first component we can make use of a filter condition of vs or vs not is equal to missing and for the second component we can use a filter of missing less than vs dtc less than or is equal to reference start date so we'll have the eligible records let us take a look at the base 0 and data set and see if it this code is working as expected so we have seen that for the sitting position there were 10th 11th and 15th jan records were eligible and then for supine position 10th 11th and 14th now let us take a look at base 0 and data set and see if that is coming as expected yes for sitting position 10th 11th and 15th and for supine position it was 10th 11th and 14th so this is coming as expected now out of these records so we need to choose the latest record let us see how we can obtain the latest record so as there can be multiple records which qualify for baseline period we need to choose the latest record for that we can sort the data set such that the latest record comes at the end and then make use of last dot variable approach to filter that record so we are sorting the records based on subject test and we have also included position and then by date so within a position we will get the latest or the last record at the end within each position so if we are using last.vs position we would get one record for each position and that subsetted record would be the latest record let us take a look at base 02 data set and see if we are getting one record for each position and also check if that was the latest record so here if we see for sitting position 15th jan is the latest record and 14th jan is the latest record under supine position so we do have two records and for sitting position as expected or as required we are getting the 15th jan record and for supine position it was 14th jan so we do have the required records so the key variables that identifies the baseline record in this scenario is subject test date and position okay let us make use of this key variables and identify or flag the record in the parent data set in the vsblfl variable as y so we are making use of base 02 data set and keeping only the key variables and merging it with the key variables so all the records that are present in base 02 indicate that the corresponding time point and position of that test and subject as baseline so we are flagging all such records in the parent data set with bs plfl as y so one thing we need to make sure that is only the required variables are kept as part of base 02 data set 
otherwise any common named variables which are present in vs01 and base02 would be overwritten if we are not dropping them so this is how we can derive baseline flag when we have position also included in the data thank you for watching